Such matters as a special session brought to you by WPEXFM 90.9. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Welcome everybody to Lynn Hart Field here in beautiful Lunenburg, Virginia. I'm John Hart. Along with Tim Ruffman, which is on top of the uh, White Elephant, he'll be with us. And of course, then Matthew Hart, I mean, uh, Robbie Hart, which is, uh, our, he's here and uh, he's going to be doing color commentary, camera switching, and, and all that good stuff. Just so, because you're already messing up names, this is going to be a fun tournament. Oh boy, starting out good. Huh? Let's get you up a little bit, Robbie. Yeah, I can't hear myself think here. <laughs> well, we are uh, already got our first controversy, and it even start. The uh, the uh, director of the league is already complaining about Matthew's pants uh, not looking, doesn't have the green stripe going down, and they're trying to re trying to stop him from playing. You know, I think me and Tim can stop at Walmart on the way back. Tonight. Oh yeah, Green Magic Market. We just go to town there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the voice you're hearing, by the way, that's Tim Ruffman on top. Hello, Tim. Hey, how are you doing? How's everyone out there doing? Well, I hope we're doing pretty good. Uh, anyway, as we start this game off, of course, we know this is uh, Blackstone All-Stars going up against the Prince Edward uh, Farmville. Well, thing is, a lot of people ask me, hey, you are biased. Well, daggone right, I'm biased. Yeah, maybe uh, but because uh, I got one, uh, I got a son that plays on the team also, but uh, been a coach in the uh, Blackstone League for the last couple of years, and I've uh, known these players actually since uh, about four years ago, and kind of seen them kind of come up. Well, let's talk about Farmville a little bit, uh, Robbie, and Prince Edward Farmville. We recognize some of these names. Yeah. Well, we followed them up since we started doing the minor league tournament, what, two, two, two three years ago. Yep. We starting starting on the mound, of course, is Matthew Fitz. Yeah, one we of the saw best. him pitch in the minor league. 135 pitches in the minor league. That's right. Kind of insane. It was unbelievable, and he pitched one heck of a game. And uh, then, uh, of course, they've got some great hitters on that team as well. But now let's look at the Blackstone All-Stars. And, of course, a lot of you know, people have been following us all year long know about you know some of our great uh, players on there one we have pitching we have uh, Josh Bond we have uh, Andrew Pumphrey that can pitch and then of course we got Matt Hart that can that can pitch and he's one of the, he's the best probably one of the best pitchers in the league we look on the other we look on the batting side of it we have a lot of power too of course Josh Bosch has been hitting the ball real real good yeah Josh Bond doing during practices um, he hit two up over the uh, during practice uh, uh, the, just the other day, last practice, he hit three over. And then, of course, with Brandon Parrish, he can hit the ball really well. Is it, it good, too, because he hit the ball uh, just knocking him over. And actually, he's starting to kind of knock him like Matthew. He's starting to knock him into the trees and everything. So that is coming along real good. And Logan, of course, coming back from his injury, he seems to be uh, stepping back in old form. He had a little trouble the uh, first uh, scrimmage game they had, but came back after that and was able to uh, start doing much, much better. And then, of course, you know, you know Matthew Hart. And of course, everybody knows how good he's been. He's had a great year with uh, uh, seven home runs on the year. And then he had uh, during the uh, scrimmage games, he's hit two, I believe. They're balling in, so I think we're getting ready for the first batter on the uh, black. On the, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be uh, Farmville first. So they're yep. playing cop home. Farmville is the visitors, and Blackstone is home. Today. I'm going to change a few things on the computer here. So I'm, I'm going to kind of vanish here for a few seconds. Right, you know, speaking of Josh Vaughn, right. he put two over in that uh, in uh, those uh, two uh, scrimmage games also. Yeah, that's right. So we have some power that's on this team. Okay, White will be coming up for uh, Prince Edward Farmville. He will be starting things up. He'll go up against Josh Bond. And this is going to be setting the pace, Robbie, to see how things are going. Yep. Josh Bond now will wind up. The first pitch was being right down in there. And now being there for strike number one. That's how you want to start That's it right great there. Great way to start. No balls in one strike now to White. Here comes the next one. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. 
And if Tim can probably probably tell, tell you, this is where the other teams put the meter line, yep. right at the top of your batting line. Exactly. That first that first four to first Good six job. is really uh, really their top end uh, hitter. White will uh, strike at that one, fouls that back now, and that will be in there for still the count still remains unchanged. Uh, no balls and two strikes. Josh Vaughn is one strike away from getting his first strikeout. Here comes the next pitch. Foul back. And the count, of course, remains the same. No balls and two strikes. Yeah, just a little bit late on the, uh, I mean, sorry. You look like on the right part of the swing just swung a little bit under at that time. One thing you got to also take in consideration is the deep defense of Blackstone has got to come alive. Here comes now the pitch. Ball. That was going to be in there for ball one. One ball and two strikes. A little bit low inside. I think uh, John, uh, Josh tried for a curveball there. Wind up now from Josh Bond. It's a swing in here, and Josh Bond will put up strikeout number one. And up now is going to be Austin Orange for the uh, Farmville team. Well, we've heard of Austin Orange, too. I have. Only trouble is, after that, it doesn't get any better with, <laughs> better with uh, Roach and Fitz coming up. That's probably two of their best batters. Vosh now will wind up. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, that one looked really close outside. From That'll be in there for ball number one. One ball and no strikes. Josh winds up for the pitch. And he oh, made a check line. that one. Didn't get it yeah, back he enough. That'll oh, go in there for strike number one. One and one now is the count. Josh really stepped up there that first batter. It really sets the tone for him well, striking out that first batter. Yep. Here comes the next pitch low, and that'll be in there for ball number two. Two balls and one strike. Moreover, yeah, moreover, striking out that first leadoff uh, batter just kind of builds around, gets it going. I mean, yeah. that's, it's momentum. Build momentum. That's how you win games. Really builds that confidence for that pitcher. Here comes oh, the pitch. Again. And that was a low one, and he bit at it. And now bring up strike number two, two and two. And the thing is, you know, when they got good players and good batters, they don't want to waste time. They want to hit the ball. Here comes now the wind up the pitch. Oh, he pulled it back in that was time. Close. It was close. And that will bring the count to full. And the only problem with this, the only problem with this is making that Josh pitch a lot of pitches. Yeah. yeah I mean, I mean, Farmville really wants to wear Josh out, of, you know, as quickly as they can. Here comes the wind up pitch. Oh, oh that was close. That was really close. And that was a runner on first. Runner on first base. That was a close call there. So Roach gets on first base, and the only problem is now you've got Matthew Orange, Fitz. Orange on base. This is Austin Roach at the bat now. All right, Austin Roach. Orange is on base. That's an error. Right in there. one. Thing is, Josh has got to be careful with these next two uh, batters here because they want to farm Phil's best. Josh now will wind up, runner on first base. This one's going to be uh, fouled back. Hitting towards the white elephant. We'll go over white elephant and okay. hit towards the cars that are parked back in us. And that will be in there for strike number two. No balls and two strikes. Strikes a strike. We'll take him anywhere we can get him. Yep. And the umpire standing directly in front of my camera. Hey, we do that. I miss having the camera that's, the, you know, way high. One ball, two strikes. Here comes the windup. Josh Bond, a hard hit ball from Roach. And thank God that went foul because that would have been real trouble. That ball went right straight down the third base line. And there was no way that nobody could have gotten that except for the left fielder. And he was out of position, actually. So, Tim, what would you throw in this type of situation? Right now, with the count the way it is, I'd throw a high outside fastball. Well, he throws one low, he swings at it, but that brings still count one ball and two strikes. Because you see how he's been chasing a couple pitches, so he goes and throws that high outside fastball. you got to be careful. Do not throw a change up here. <laughs> and then towards, 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 towards Well, that went over your head, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, last week, Tim got, was in a travel ball, watching a travel ball game, got hit by an overthrown pit, uh, throw. We'll talk about that later. Here comes the next pitch. Oh, this one's going to go to it's Matthew. Going to Matthew throws oh, oh, the base. Oh, 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 and what in the world? Man will run around oh, third base. They're going to hold him up. Oh, what and what happened yeah. there? Did Matthew make a bad throw or were the first baseman not there? Oh, oh, second baseman. The second baseman didn't get there in time. Oh, what happened, Tim? The second baseman didn't get there in time. That's one thing. This is one thing that you don't want to do. Silly errors, yeah. And now with Matthew Fitz coming up, you got runners on on third, on uh, second and third. Matthew Fitz, of course, is a very good hitter. And with only one out, this is kind of his uh, his type of batting right here. Here comes now the pitch, swing and a miss, strike number one. 
Well, if there's any man you got to strike out, this is the man right now. This is it. Yeah, you just can't let this uh, stuff get to you as a pitcher. You got to kind of just sit there, buckle down, and throw strikes. That should have actually been at least an out at second. Yeah. And here comes now the pitch. This will go to second. He throws it to third base, and why in the world did he didn't throw it home and let that guy score? I'll never know. I think that I would have went in and threw that leadoff runner and kept him from scoring at least. And cut that plate off because he had to play at the plate. Yeah. Well, anyway, that will bring up one to nothing, and that's how you get in trouble. Here comes Josh Vaughn. He throws a, looks like some sort of a curveball. That's going to be in there for ball one. Look on the strike my angle, but okay. My opinion obviously doesn't count much. Runners now on third base. Here comes now the pitch. Blow, ball two. Two balls and no strike. Josh has got to take a deep breath right now and just kind of shake that off some. Exactly. Not let this bother him. He's only down one to nothing. Hard hit ball. This is going to go now to Lawson. Lawson throws the first and get that third and final out. So one score and one man left on base. So as we go now to the bottom of the uh, first, it is uh, Prince Edward Farmville one and Blackstone nothing. We will be right back right after these messages. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie, I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No, not really. <laughs> Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Okay, back here at Lynn Hart Field in, in uh, Lunenburg, Virginia. <laughs> and doing an exciting Dixie Youth uh, Major League Tournament here. And, uh, well, it's been overcast. We've had a lot of rain here earlier, which that's the reason the game was delayed. Yeah. But anyway, they got going. And uh, coming to the bottom of the first right now, Prince Edward Farnville with, uh, with Fitz and uh, a couple of other players able to get one run in. And now it's one to nothing, but it could have been a lot worse, I think, Robbie. Yeah, I mean, it was a mistake on Blackstone's side, but they really just can't let that bother them. Time to buckle down now, make your plays, and uh, come back. And get them back going. Get them back. Get them back going. Get that going. That's right. Well, we'll Starting see. that will be uh, Josh Bond with a uh, uh, shortstop in front of it. <laughs> Fitz now takes a pitch. Josh Bond will hit it. And it goes yeah. to easy play to first base. And I think that was a little impatient by Josh yeah. taking that first pitch like that. And that is going to be bringing up Brandon Parrish. Brandon Parrish, if they give him one, you can see that ball sail over that fence. He's a good hitter. Yep. Here comes Fitz. Now winds up. Here comes the pitch. Oh, hard. Matthew goes the wrong direction. <laughs> and I don't know. I couldn't see how good that pitch was. Hard to tell. I had a shortstop in the way, but yeah, it looked, it looked like it was in there. It and, was in there. And I think we got a broken bat. What's wrong with it? He shattered the hand on the bat. Lord have mercy. Is that another bat he's done broken? Yep, that was a $400 bat. <laughs> and, <laughs> and folks, I, I got to tell you, the deal on that bat was they bought it uh, they bought it for him and it worked for good thing is Matthew likes that bat too. <laughs> keep breaking the bat. How do you break an aluminum bat? His dad just broke it completely over his knee. <laughs> all the way in half. Aluminum oh, bat? Boy. Yeah. I don't think aluminum like broke. I thought it did. <laughs> Not this one. This well, one it, it was uh, carbon fiber at the handle. All right. Here ball. comes the next pitch. Low ball one. One ball and one strike with one out. Here's Blacks. So he's to be patient. Wait for their pitch. Don't make it easy for this pitcher to, to get out of this game by swinging everything he throws. All right, Fitz winds up for Prince Farmfield. He burns that one in there. That one again, a little high. You don't want to just, you know, sometimes Blackstone's been knowing to, to go for some bad ones. 
And uh, here comes the next pitch. That one's going to be low. That's going to be an air for ball two. Two and two is the count. But they've been known to go for some low ones until about the second time around when they get up, they start getting in the groove. Yeah, but if you keep striking out one, two, three, you'll, you'll, by the time you get to the second time around, Absolutely. the game is over with. you got to keep that pitcher safe. Swing oh, and a miss, and he's got suckered in that one for strikeout number two. That's out number two. Uh, actually, out number two, but strikeout number one for Matthew yeah. Fitz. That brings up a Logan Powell. See if uh, Willie Wop there can uh, get things going. And Fitz goes. will step off the plate, wait for Matthew Hart to get back around to the uh, on-deck circle. Fitz now ready to go, winds up and throws it. That one's going to be right down in there for ball number one. That's a little outside. That's what you need. Wait on. Make, know where your pitch is and don't swing unless it's where you want it. One ball and no strike now. Logan Powell's up to bat. Matthews quickly. This one's going to go to third base. Long throw. He throws it. It's a long Easy. throw. And he gets him out. Nice and that's nice three up and yep. three down. So, as we go now to the top of the, uh, to the, top of the second, it's still one to nothing in favor of Farmville. We'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Jill, why don't you tell the class what you did this weekend? Well, my dad and I went in search of some magical minnows and found a zillion of them in the stream from our lookout rock. Then my sister and I escaped from an evil slug king and went back to my super twig fort for safety. Then we told stories till it got dark and the Big Dipper led us all the way home. Whoa. Where were you, Jill? We went to the forest. It's not that far away. Ask your parents to take you and your friends to the forest this week. It's closer than you think. Check out discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. All right, back here at Lynn Hart Field here in Lindenburg and getting things right started. And uh, coming up, Drew, yeah. uh, this will be, who is coming up? Matthew here? Drew. Ball. Matthew Drew. Yep, ball outside. Yep. And that was a ball outside. I'm looking down at the chart here. Here comes the next pitch from Josh Bond. That one's low in there for ball number two. Not the way you want to be getting inning there, Josh. Well, you you're starting to get into the last part of that front and in the middle of the lineup. And this is where you need to light them up right here. Make no mistake, these teams will wait on you if they can. And they're doing just that, and that's the third ball he threw. Three balls in a row, three balls and no strikes. See, one thing. That bat better not be coming off that batter's shoulder. Here comes down the next pitch. Ball four. Four balls in a row. And there's one even close. And you know, if, if if he gets in trouble, I think that I would bring in Drew Pumphrey and try to keep Matthew off the mound as long as I could. Wouldn't you do that? Uh, yeah. I'd oh, yeah, him. most definitely. You don't want to bring Matthew unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. Or even Peyton Lawson right, can even pitch at these guys. Here comes down the pitch. This one's going to be a pop-up, and it's going to be close. It's going to be, and he gets the guy ball. Here comes it's a live ball. Here comes the runner that will go to third base, and actually that ends up being a double, and Blackstone is in trouble. Two major fielding errors they paid for right yep. in a row. Blackstone is in deep trouble on their defense, and Randy needs to call timeout, and he needs to pull his team together because they're making – that is three errors that they've had in minor two league, Minor league mistakes. Yeah, yep, minor, minor league, league mistakes. I'm afraid, unfortunately, yeah. And the bad thing is, is they compounded it one by another yeah. in a row, you know, yeah. to advance them runners to scoring position with no outs. And that brings up Mr. Uh, Dylan Johnson. And, I mean, Prince Edward is really not earning their, you know, that was going to be outside. That's five in a row for Josh Bond. I mean, they haven't hit one that has been a hard hit yet. Josh Bond now looks, winds up, and throws. And that's another ball. That'll be ball number two. Six in a row he's thrown. Come on, Josh. 
Washington now looks, winds up, and that one's going to be a chopper, and that's going to be an there for strike. He'll take him any way and get him. Two balls and one strike. Hey, if you get a strike with him swinging at it, why not, right? Mm -hmm. He's in the wind-up position. Here comes down the pitch, swing and a miss, and there for strike two. And now the count gets more respectable at a two and two. Well, you know, he's down here in the in the lower lineup now. This is uh, number six, number seven. He needs to throw nothing but strikes. Here comes down the pitch, way high, ball three, count goes to full. And he hope he don't want to lose this. Lose this one, just loads up the bases with absolutely no out. More you're going to you'll be going to your lineup the first time, which lets him shrink their lineup. Yep, here comes down the pitch. That was a blooper that actually probably have been too high. May have dropped in, but a change up in there for strike number one. Oh, strike, well, that was out. First out. Oh, that's out. right. First out. That brings up Mr. Chase Gibbs, the uh, one of the extra su extras on the team. All right, here comes down the pitch, and it's a bunt. It bunt. It, it fells back actually on himself, but he didn't get out of the batter's box in time. And all that being said, it's only a strike one. No balls and one strike now. We got one out here at the top of the second inning. One to nothing. But runners on second and third for Farmville. Here comes the next pitch. This was a nice bunt, and they're going to check him. There goes the guy, and they're going to get him out. They're going to try to throw. Nope, and they get into two. And boy, oh boy. I would have been very careful. I know you had to get that second out, but you don't want them to score any anymore either. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's the name of the game, playing small ball. Yeah. You, gotta make it chip it. you don't win the game in big chunks. You just you buy them to death with little pieces. Well, very important now. Blackstone has got to get this last man out. Here comes down the pitch. Foul back in there for strike number one. No balls and one strike. Josh Bond now winds up for Blackstone pitches. It's a, look, I don't know if that was a curve or a changeup. Couldn't tell from here. Yeah, it looked like it was uh, looked like kind of a like changeup. I didn't see a curve much. It was a curve. It was a pale one, I'm afraid. <laughs> but, hey, a strike, I guess, is, is good, right? That's no, right. No balls and two strikes, though. Don't, don't give him out. anything good. Now, here comes down a pitch. That one's going to be high. A little bit high in there for ball one when ball and two strikes. Now, do not let this batter get away from you, Josh. I'm whispering in his ear right now. Don't let it get away from you. Here comes now the pitch. That's going to be low ball two. One of the things Josh has had all season long, his trouble has been, he can be hot at one point and then suddenly walk two or three people. And this one's going to be a chop goes foul ball right in front of the, of the Blackstone's bench. Oh, so the dugout, and now being there for still a count goes two and two. And I'll say Josh here is getting high in the pitch count. He's up to 40 pitches so far, just the second inning. Mm. Compared to Matthew Fitz, I think he's only got what? Eight probably. Eight think. pitches or yeah. so? Eight, yeah. Eight if that. If, yeah. Well, he, Josh Bond winds up pitches, and that ball one is three. going to be in there, ball three, and the next and another full count for Blackstone, and they're walking the back side of their lineup, Robbie. Yep, that's where you get in trouble, right here. Here comes down the pitch, and this was a hard hit down to Lawson. Lawson bottles it, but gets it in time. Third and final out. So, another run will score. No, it doesn't because the uh, well, the runner on third is a force. No. Right. Yeah. But it's two. But it, but uh, uh, came in the inning, yeah. One run scored, so it's two to nothing. And in favor of Farmville, we'll be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. 
And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free! And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Two steps. See your local Radio Shack dealer with Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. <laughs> Okay, back here at Leonard Field. Okay, Matthew Hart is up. Here comes now Fitz with a pitch. And Matthew, do you know what they're doing? They're doing exactly what they need to do. They, they pitched that one inside on Matthew and high. Yep. And Matthew bit at it. Uh, no balls and one strike. Matthew's up, ready to hit the ball. Here comes now the pitch. This one's way low. Fitz kind of lost control of that one a little bit. That one went low for ball one, one ball and one strike. Yeah, needs to be careful with with this guy. Like I said, you need to start making pitch throw a little bit. Here comes the pitch, and Matt and Matthew chops way, that way, way, way low, bud. But that one's way low, and right now we're just swinging at everything. Yeah, I mean, Fitz ain't even working hard. He's up to 11 pitches so far. I mean, you gotta make this guy work a little bit for it. So far, we got a man on base. That one's going to go inside for ball two. Two and two is a count to Hart. And on Bob Matthew, we've noticed when he gets two outs against him, he starts swinging a lot more than he should have. Yep. He'll swing. He'll chase that low ball. Yep. Pitch count looks. He winds up. Here comes the pitch. And Matthew chops one. It'll go to the shortstop. They throw it. And he is at it first. But so far, Prince Edward's defense has been perfect. And, you know, be fair, I mean, Fitz is not throwing a great No, he's not throwing that. He's not throwing that. I mean, we were throwing. We were just swinging at everything he's throwing. I mean, come on. Black took hit these. Let's be honest here. Oh, yeah. Drew Pumphrey is up. And then he swung at the first one. And first base became over. Almost made a dive at it. Well, they're throwing up in, they're throwing up in the eyes on the first pitch. And they're just going for it every time. I'll tell you one. I'd, I'd take that bat to their, out to their shoulders and tell them that even if it's that first pitch anymore, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Team. I mean, I think if you go back and look at the stats, that first, everybody's going for that first pitch, pitching for Matthew. Yeah. They're not working this guy at all. Here comes the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. And the trouble is, Matthew Fitz is lighting them up, and on the other side, it was completely the opposite. Yep. They're waiting on Josh Bond. That's count for all the walks. Here comes down the, wild, the pitch. That one's going to be low, and that's going to be an infra ball one. I mean, every time, Matthew Fitz has stayed way, way ahead of the Blackstone batters. One ball and two strikes. We got one out here in the second inning. Matthew Fitz for Prince Edward winds up and hard oh, yeah. hit ball. And that one could fall in his own. He kicks it to second base and will miss it. And Drew Pumphrey finally gets Blackstone on base. Nice piece of wood there. Nice piece of wood. But well, Dalton is going to come up. And now if we can start hitting the ball. Should be Jacob Morris at the bat. Is it Jacob Morris? Yep. Jacob at the bat. Well, that's what it says on my schedule, too. Yep, it's Jacob Morris. And he does a bunt, but why would, you know, I wouldn't know if I'd want a bunt yet. Yeah, it's like quite time to start the old. Not, well, not with the man just on first base with one out. We need to, run, we need to get some of these runs back. Matthew Fitz now winds up. Here comes the pitch. That one's way inside. Can now be an air for ball two. Almost off again. Excuse me back to first there before yeah. he got caught. Well, what would it what would what would kind of shake this game up and somehow if uh, Morris could put one over. <laughs> it's, it's, ability. it's a possibility. Here comes now the pitch. Way low, ball three. You know, I think what the bomber of our, lamp, of our lamp's coming up here, the Blackstone's lamp, rather. And maybe this is exactly what we need, because the bottom of our lamp will tend to wait for a ball a lot more than the top of our lineup. Yep. Trouble is, our bottom of our lineup can hit extremely well, too. But they will wait on it, and that's why you need to wait and not swing at everything. All right. Three balls and no strikes. That strike. one's going to be way inside. Oh, it just hit the outside corner for a strike. Yep. That being now, said, now, still by himself. You know, way in front of the pitcher with uh, three balls and one strike. Yeah, with one out, we got to get runners on really bad. That one's going to be low. And that one's going to be 
Base on balls. That puts runner on first and second for Blackstone with one out. R.D. at the bat now. Number nine playing left field today. Ryan Dalton, but we call him just R.D. for short. All right, let's see what takes place. Ryan's got to be careful, too. Ryan sometimes will throw it, go at bad ones. He just he sets uh, up the front and ball. just goes way high, high yeah. too. Try to get it oh, right now we got to keep the rally going, I think. Yeah. And, you know, Ryan can't hit the ball. I mean, he's actually a decent hitter. I mean, I'll let, I'll let him swing away at him. I would, too. I tell you, I mean, Give him the this stick. pitcher's been throwing wild these last couple batters, too. So, oh, really? you know, well, Matthew I mean, Fitz has been known to do that in his past. Uh, and now the double stealing, and a somehow another Drew Pumphrey will gallop to third base and get and get safe. Morris will make it to second base, and now Pease takes out the fourth play with one out, and Blackstone has runners in scoring position. This is a way to kind of race his mistakes from the uh, first two innings there, if they can. All right. Again, Ryan Dalton has just got to be very patient because you got a one and one count, runners on first and second. Yeah. You only got one out. Remember, know your pitch, swing at your pitch. Don't, you know, don't let him trap you in the pitches you don't want. All right, here comes down. Fitz winds up, swing and a miss. That looked like a pretty good pitch. Yeah, that was that little change. Yeah, I think that would have been a strike. What did you see on the film? It looked like it was. Oh yeah. It may have been a little inside, but it was. It would have been a close one. I couldn't have called that either way. On the batter camera that I got, I mean, it it it, it hit that inside corner. Okay. So we got one ball and two strikes to Ryan Dalton. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, I get Beautiful hit. And now, yeah. Peyton Lawson will be coming up. Yeah, no Boy, nice hit to left field. You know, and you know, he came through in the last All-Star game like that, too. I think uh, R.D.'s kind of a clutch man in these All-Star games. Okay, runners on first and third. Here comes now the pitch. Oh, this one's in the strike. They're going to not try to throw Dalton out. Dalton's got a little bit of speed on him and takes it down to second base. Runners on second and third for Blackstone with one out. Yeah, we got us on a ball game again, don't we? Matthew Pitts winds up. Oh, All right, ball, this to go. It's bobbled. Will it get out? But another one will score with two outs. We got a tie ball game. And somehow or another, Blackstone has answered back with two runs of their own. And the game is tied here in the second inning, two and two. Right here at the bottom of the second. And we still have a runner on second, on uh, second rather. Josh Kibronson will try, well actually, Josh Kibronson is up, followed by B.J. Coleman. Matthew Fitz now winds up, here comes out a pitch, and a nice, good judgment by Josh Kibronson, and he'll let that one go by with a ball one, one ball and no strikes. Things are getting kind of a little exciting here, <laughs> to say the least, huh? Hey, I like good games like this. This is the what this is what the All-Star game is supposed to be. Close fun games. Yeah. Here comes now Fitz winds up. Swing and a miss. And now bring the count one and one. One ball and one strike with two outs. Two to two. Here in the bottom of the second. So all the twos are light up on the scoreboard just about. Matthew Fitz. Looks. Winds up. Here comes now the pitch. And that one's going to be low, and that's going to be in there for ball two. You know what? Like I said, the bomb of their life is now waiting on the forcing math. You can throw those strikes. Exactly. Not giving it to them. And that's where the top of the line kind of let, let, let him down this one. Yeah, because he's up over 20 pitches this yeah. inning already. And he's uh, swinging and missed strike number two. Two and two goes to count. That makes uh, – yeah, he's up to 32 pitches so far. So he – remember, all but, eight, all but eight of those were pitched this inning. And like we said before, that's very important to get him throwing it. Here comes out a pitch. That was going to be inside and high. And that brings the count to full. I don't think I could have held back on that one. <laughs> I would have had to go for that one. Three balls and two strikes with two outs. Runners on second. Base for Blackstone. Fitz now winds up. Here comes the pitch. Oh, Swing and a miss. Strike one. three. And now retired aside. I back up there. Well, two runs scored. And as now we go into the uh, top of the third, actually, it will be two to two. We'll be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. 
allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crewe, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What, are you kidding? No. Not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. Back here at Lynn Hart Field, I'm John Hart, and uh, Ken's up there on top of the white elephant, and uh, he's doing the, actually operating two cameras, <laughs> and doing some announcing at the same time, Robbie Hart right next to me, and boy oh boy. It is raining again, isn't it? Oh yeah, it, it's sprinkling. I, I, I'll tell you, I talked to uh, Matthew Hart before the game started. He said if uh, the game was close after three innings that uh, he might be coming in for the last three innings. Well, we'll see. Well, that all one goes in there for strike number one, by the way. If Josh can hold out here, that's really what the key is. And who do we have up? This is uh, Corbett B uh, Bowen. Bowen? Oh, that one's in there. Inside. Strike Corner. number two. Inside no balls Corner. and two strikes. That was a that was a curveball that, that completely backed that batter out and caught that inside corner. All right, double zero. Josh Bond winds up, right, swing right, and a miss. Right, Strike right, number three. Right. Looks like Blackstone settling he, down a little bit now. Exactly. Yep. yep. I mean, this, they you know, they can play this game. Out. Oh yeah. I don't know what team showed those first two innings though. Now the bag. Now the batters on the uh, top side are letting me to settle down and start. Well, you know, Johnny Powell says the best. Hitting is contagious. Yep. And if Blackstone starts hitting the ball, Farmville better look out. Here comes down the pitch, okay. high in there for ball one. But I mean, once things start to roll, especially like Blackstone's been known, once they start getting that hitting machine going, you know, they can run up a score on you real, real quick. Next pitch, this one's going to be oh, didn't fall in there. It was going to be a changeup that just, again, didn't make it in for ball two. That looked kind of like a softball throw, didn't it? Blackstone don't want to put any runners on base, though. That, one's, oh, that was a pretty fast ball there, but now oh, that was a little bit high for ball three. Three balls and one strike. Especially, you know, this is the last batter in the lineup. He should be throwing nothing but right down the middle. Well, that one went right down the middle for ball uh, strike number one. Well, Josh pitched a lot of pitches now. He, maybe he's starting to get kind of tired. He's up to like 50, uh, 49 pitches with that last pitch. All right, here comes the wind up, the pitch. Outside, that's well. And that's going to be ball number four. Now they're back up to the top of their lineup. That brings up Mr. Xavier White. We're back to uh, start a lineup now, correct? Yep. Yep. Xavier is over one for a day. So he struck out his last at bat. Yep. Runner on first base. That one's going to be in there for ball one. And I got an umpire blocking my. This is where you got to be really, really careful, Robbie, because you know top of the lineup, no outs. You got to got to run on board right now. Uh, that one's going to be high ball two. You can lose this this tied score really, really easy. Here comes now the wind up, the pitch. And in for strike number one, one ball and two balls and one strike. Two and one is the count here in the third inning. Two and two is the score. Farm Prince, Prince Edward Farmville's got one run on board here at Lynnhurst. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to be a foul. That brings the count two and two. And Josh got to feel a little bit better by that. I would. <laughs> and poor now coming up, actually, but he's got... Some of Farmville's best hitters up. Here it comes down to pitch, oh, and it's a hard hit ball. Oh, it's going, over. going, and gone. How in the world can I, I don't even want to get into it. That was a curveball. <laughs> it was a home run, what it was. That's close game. That's not what you want to do. 
And that don't get any better with uh, Roach and Fitz coming up. Yeah, I and mean, that wasn't even their top hitter, too, just sailed it over your fence. Well, the rain's coming down here a little bit here at Linhard Field. Nice home run now by, you know, by, that was orange, I think it was, wasn't it? Or that was white. That's Xavier, yes. Xavier, yeah, Xavier right. white. Here comes the next pitch, hard hit ball. Oh, that almost took out the crowd on the left-hand side. Now being able to strike number one. And the trouble is, I'm worried. They're starting to time out. They got them time, yes. Well, one thing about in this in in, in yeah. this in this league, especially, they'll time out a curveball on you, and if oh, curve is not thrown it, exactly right, they're gonna sail one out of the park. Yeah, they'll dig it out to you, and they'll just lift it out, lift it out. On you. Yep. Here comes down the pitch. That one's gonna be fouled back. Oh, it, Almost hit the crowd, Mike. There, no balls and two strikes. Well, I'll bring it up four to two, and just like that. And, Matt, and uh, Blackstone has still got some of their back lineup they got to get through before they get to the top of the lineup. Here come down the pitch. And that one's going to be a chop up. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Inge, ben Inge will field it and will throw it to second base where Matthew Hart is. And now a runner gets on board. And, of course, that brings up Austin Roach. And Matthew Fitz is on deck. Austin Roach is one for one for the day. Here comes out a pitch. Oh, now being there for strike one. The trouble is they got this game can get away from them very, very quickly here. Especially with the guys that got that they're up. Here comes out a pitch. And there goes the runner down second base. They're gonna try him. Matthew will not be able to field it in quite in time. A good catch by Hart at second base, but not in time enough, and a runner safe at second. And now here comes a timeout by Randy Webb, he will converse with all the players. I don't know if I, well, would you change? I wouldn't change anybody. Uh, wow, they're gonna, they're, are they going to change him? Yep, they sure are. Wow, that's kind of Wow, they're going to bring in Matthew Hart that's going to be bringing in. I expect to see him come in this early, especially when you're behind. Yeah, well, you've got to, but the thing is, you've got, you've got to win today and play tomorrow. Yeah. That's true. Well, the bad thing about it is, though, if Matthew finishes out this, this will count as four innings. Yeah, that's true. That's another thing I'm worried about. As well, well, remember, they got a tough game tomorrow to play. Yeah, the good news is this. And, you know, in this tournament, you do get extra innings. They don't, uh, you know, it's not like during the regular season. So they do get a little bit more, but still. So as the rain comes down, we got Matthew Hart that's going to be winding up. Got a runner on second base. Oh, you didn't put Matt in, nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, we heard that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're the crowd there. They should put Matthew in at the beginning, but I disagree I with that. that. Yeah. Remember, the big I thing was. I know what they're thinking. You know, yep. to be fair, I mean, coaches of Blackstone were thinking the right thing. It's just the problem they're having is that it's the that farm bill time and started timing Josh out, and they're starting to eat him alive. Yeah. Well, I've seen Matt pitch. When it's hot, I've seen that pitch in the dark. I've seen that pitch when during dust. I've never seen a pitch in the rain, and we actually got some rain coming down now. He pitched in the rain before. When has he pitched in the rain? Video somewhere. In the rain? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, here we come. One ball, one strike. Mr. Austin Roach still up the bat now for Prince Edward Farmville. Well, Hart needs to line him up. He's got one and one count on Roach. Here comes Matthew now, wind it up, here comes down the pitch, and this one's going to be a foul back, and that will be in there for strike number two, one ball and two strikes. Matthew really is not quite warmed up. Matthew can pitch the ball in, in the excess of 70 miles an hour. But these guys are good hitters too, though. I mean, you're the, you're the yep, these guys are right exceptionally now. good hitters. You're in neither lineup right now. This is, again, the guys you got to get out of here. Matthew's trying to save this inning and keep this game from getting away from him too far. Matthew will now, nobody's ready, so Matthew just kind of steps off the mound and rubs the ball very hard. Perhaps little, try to dry it off a little bit. I think Puffy had a little bit of a equipment malfunction there with the uh, runner on second base. We got one out. Here comes Matthew with a pitch, and he slings one down there, and it'll be foul back. Strike number two, one ball and two strikes. This guy's way behind Matt. He's got one and two count on the guy. 
be going high outside. Well, high and outside would be a path you can definitely pitch down when here comes this windup. Here comes a pitch, and this one's going to be a foul back. One more, Matt. So out of four pitches, Matthew is, well, actually one pitch. Matthew is, uh, has thrown, well, three, if you want to say three strikes. Matthew will look over and probably get a curveball <laughs> signal from Randy, but that, that's not going to happen. Here comes out a, a changeup, and he popped one out. The center field will... Wait for it. The runner will not go. He will not tag up in time. And that will be out number one. All right, now Matthew's got to watch that change up to on some of these guys. That ball could have been taken out of here. Yeah. And that brings up Matthew Fitz. And this is where Matthew needs to light him up. Matthew needs to light this. Matthew needs to light this one up right here. Take charge, Matt. You can get it. If Matthew walks, his guy would be the end of the world. But he can't, don't want to give him anything he can hit out of here. Now Matthew winds up. Here comes out a pitch. This one's going to go right in there, and they're going to call that one a ball. A little bit inside. A little bit inside for Matt. And to be fair, that's where you want to hit this yep. guy. Yep. Especially he's not going to step back and go after it. Yep. Biggest thing you can miss. Great place to miss. Yep. Here comes Matthew winds up. Here comes a pitch. A nice chop up. Oh, and it will go in there for a base hit. And if center fielder will miss it one will score and now bring it up five to two <laughs> and really I, jacob morris should have really had that one well yeah but it was a crazy hop crazy hop though matthew will now look wind up here comes now the pitch Swing and a miss in there for strike one. If Matthew gets in the groove, they're going to have a hard time hitting off of him. Yeah, I mean, the batters just had his number there. They're very good batters, too. Well, if you're going to, now you need to strike, we need to get the next uh, next batter out here. Here comes the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. But still, results the same. No strike. No balls and two strikes. Yep, goes down as a strike. With this end of the lineup, too, way, way, way behind Matthew, he, he should be throwing up but smoke. Yeah. Well, Matthew's way ahead. Matthew now wind up. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and Matthew will take him out. So, two, three runs actually score in that inning. It makes it five to two. And as we go now to the bottom of the third, it is five to two in favor of Prince Edward Farmville. We'll be right back right after these messages. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can serve the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll give me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Two step. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Back here at Lynn Hart Field in Lunenburg, Virginia. I'm John Hart. Tim's up on top of the white elephant operating a camera. <laughs> and, of course, then Robbie Hart is over here doing the play-by-play. -play. I mean, doing the color commentary. Yeah, I don't do And all the switching in the world. <laughs> Coming up is going to be Mr. DJ Coleman starting at the bat now for the uh, Blackstone team. Blackstone still has not made it through their lineup yet. 
Yep, got a couple of more batters to do that. Here comes the pitch, but DJ right, does huh? wisely wait on that one. Did that one go in there for ball number one? That's a ball, yeah. One ball and no strikes now to DJ Coleman for Blackstone. That looked like a ball from my angle. Pitch now winds up. Here comes now the pitch. And that strike. one did. That was a pretty pitch yeah, in there for strike number two. But to be fair, strike mean, number one. I probably would have waited until he threw me a strike two. We're, I mean, work, you got to work uh, Matthew definitely. Fitz. Yeah. Especially Make, down three runs. Exactly. One ball and one strike. Oh. This one's going to be a hard hit. Oh. This one's going to go foul. A little bit late. Yep. That got over, if that would have been just a tad straight and gotten over that at a pitcher's head, that would have been a good little hit. Roach tried to dive for it, couldn't quite get to it. He's making umpires going over and making sure that Roach is okay where he dove at the thing. Skinning the elbow up or something. Hey, now he's wiping his elbow off. Here comes now Fitz with the pitch. And oh. it's going to be another late one. Now another late one that's going to be in there for strike number two. One ball and two strikes. He needs to really uh, choke up, check that plate on this third one now. Somehow or another, that's exactly right. Choke up and try to get one in the hole and get on board somehow. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to be fouled back. Foul back. Ooh, I thought he was out there for a second. And that brings the count still one and two. One ball and two strikes with no outs. On deck will be Ben Inge. And Ben Inge sometimes has come through when you least expect. Hey, it's surprising. Here comes the pitch. pitch oh, swinging strike. a miss, strike three. So Blackstone batters are still having trouble against Fitz. So that'll be out number one, and that brings up Ben Inge. Ben Inge swinging yeah. first, first one they've been swinging at that's in there for strike number one. And I couldn't tell how that good that pitch that was. That was pretty close. It was right down the gut, yeah. right down the middle of two. So one, no balls and no strikes. This one's down in the dirt. Good hold back. He wanted to go yeah. for it, too. You could tell. <laughs> one ball and one strike with one out. Five to two, Prince Ab was leading in his first game of the series. Here comes now Fitz winding up in the pitch. Hard hit ball to the third baseman. And Roach will scoop that one out, route number two. This is how it's been going for Blackstone all day here. Well, hard hits right at the players. Right at the players. They've been doing it the last three innings. That brings up Mr. Hunter McGraw. Yep. And uh, last person to line up here. Hunter can uh, hopefully get a hold of the ball. He got a, uh, got, a, got a few in practice. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, hard hit ball. Going way that one is going he to go to the left fielder. He catches it yeah. for out number three. So it's basically three up and three down. And Matthew Fitz gets out of that one real easy. It's five to two. We'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world.
Okay, back here at Linhard Field. And five to two, Prince Edward leading. Matthew Hart will remain in as pitching. No real surprise there. No, no big surprise. And that is going to bring up who? I have uh, Matthew Drew at the bat now. Matthew yep. is a uh, uh, walk last time he was up. Here comes down the pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. And that, I don't know where Matthew's head was looking that time. He's looking up the left. <laughs> I don't think he was looking at the ball, though. That's for sure. Yep, that's Matthew Drew, not Matthew, Matthew Drew, yeah. Hart. Two Matthews up there playing against each other. <laughs> All right, no balls in one strike now. All right, see what they can do. All right, here comes now the pitch. Hart winds up, throws a nice a piece one, of it, and it goes right to Norris. Norris bobbles it. He gets it. Yes. I'm sweating a little bit that time. That's a good way to stick with it by that shortstop. Yeah. Yep. Jacob Norris. Jacob Morris did a good job of yep. turning that one around. And I thought he had lost it there for a second. Played for Kinston Forest this year. Also played rec ball in the Lions. That brings up uh, Walker Sanderson. And that one's going to be foul back. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, like number one. You okay there, Tim. That was heavy yeah, for you. Right over top of me again. <laughs> it's like second or third one. Are you sure you don't want that uh, foul ball guard for the next game? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news down Matthew so far is staying way ahead of most, most of his batters. Here comes now the next pitch. Matthew looks, winds up. Nice fastball in there for strike number two. Yeah, that one hit the glove, and the kid swung there on that one. That's a real good form by Matthew. <laughs> no balls and two strikes now. Matthew looks, sets up, and winds up, delivers fastball, strike three. Matthew zapped that one right down in there. Who's this bat? Who, which number is the batter at the bat? Five, Dylan Johnson. Number five. John Johnson. Whoever Johnson Dylan is. Dylan Johnson, yeah. Yep. So we got two outs just like that. Let's see if he can, Matthew can take out Johnson. Matt winds up now, delivers. Here comes the pitch. And there for strike number one. Matthew's on fire. Matthew's just probably getting in the groove now. Yeah, that last couple back, he had a problem in the front of the lineup, but now he seems to be settled down. He's just, you know, now it's routine, right? Yeah, he's putting everything together. He's doing all the mechanics, one, two, five, really exploding now. This one's uh, going to be high, but he swung at it. That would be in there for strike number two. I saw there, there was no reason to look at that one. I saw that was broken playing. But he's got to protect the plate now. Matthew looks over, get his signal. And all he basically just burned it in there is what I do. Here comes out a pitch. That was right down the middle. Strike three. Another strike out for Matt Hart. Three up and three down. So as we go to the bottom of the fourth now, it's still five to nothing with Blackstone coming up. We'll be right back right after these messages. Set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What, are you kidding? No. Not really. <laughs> Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving.